guys, welcome back. So this week's movie was Dances with Wolves and this is not my first time watching the movie. It's actually my second time and I really enjoyed watching it again. It's a really, really good movie. Um, Dunbar is seen as a hero. He's the main character and he's seen as a hero when he leads the, the Union troops to victory in the Civil War. Um, after that, he requests to, to be transferred to the western frontier where he meets a wolf and he meets also an Indian tribe. Um, soon the tribe um, accepts him and he helps them with a buffalo hunt. Um, little by little he starts earning their respect and he starts leaving his white ways and is transformed into one of them um, and he forms part of the tribe. So there are many elements of myth in this movie, starting with um, man and nature relationships. Um, and this shows how imposing civilizations can lead to, to the loss of human values toward nature. Um, we also have social relations. And at the beginning, Indians are seen as, as inferior. And Dunbar uh, believes in this mythology um, at the beginning of the movie, but then he learns that the natives are not savages, but people people who care about family and and who care about a strong community and the power of of being united. So we see the whole idea of the nationalist myth, which is a myth that celebrates a nation's sense of identity, showing how our land was like in the past. And through Dunbar's journey of self-identity, we see how he learns the sense of union and how he learns that no matter where you're from or what class or culture you're from, you can still form a strong relationship with others um, that are in some way different than you. Um, and he leaves his own cultural identity for that of Dances with Wolves, which is his um, Indian name. So he starts arriving to his own conclusions. Like he, he doesn't believe in this old myth that Indians, because they're not the same, they are inferior, which is not true. And he learns this and he starts to see them as a family. So another element of myth is the sacred. And for the, for the natives, uh, family is sacred. Their community is sacred. Um, but not only that, because the buffalo is also a sacred um, animal for them uh, because it represents food and materials and clothing. Violence is another theme that we see a lot because there's a lot of violence in the movie. And it shows that violence doesn't, doesn't do any good and instead it destroys people and their culture. It doesn't solve any problems, but instead it creates more problems. And there's a stereotype in the movie when when Dunbar um, is tortured by, by his own people because of the way he's dressed. Because they think he is an Indian by the way he's dressed. So there are many elements of ritual as well. For example, the dances, um, the trading, the smoking. This is uh, something that... Um, tribes do a lot when someone comes when someone new comes to their to their community they trade they smoke together so this is kind of a, a ritual element that we can we can see in this music and dances also um, form part of the element of filmmaking because they reflect the emotions of the characters so like I said before it was not my first time watching the movie but I really enjoyed uh, watching it again it's a really good movie because it has a lot of themes that people can relate to and a lot of uh, social issues that we still encounter in, in our society. So it's good to look at those things. Um, so this is it for this video and for this semester. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Have a nice winter break and I'll see you again next semester. Bye!